Minecraft is a game open to modding. It does not break any of the game's rules to mod it. There is a whole section of the official forums dedicated to modding. I do not claim any ownership to the mods in this video. The official Aether thread has been linked and the official download for the mods have also been linked. This video is simply a guide tutorial on how to install the necessary mods components to make the Aether mod version 1.02 run on Minecraft. Hey yo, what's up guys and girls, Rashiki with another video. So as most of you probably know, my old um, Aether installation video, which was quite popular by the way, over 500k hits, so thanks a lot for that guys. Um, was is now outdated with the release of Ether version 1.02. So today is a revised installation video of how to install the Ather mod. So the main thing that's different this time is we have a new mod called Play API which we need, and also you have to use a special version of Shock AHPI R5.1. Um, since there was a lot of problems with mods, I'll put a link for each individual download in the description this time. Um, so the first thing we need to do, but before we start installation, is we need a fresh minecraft.jar. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. One way you can go hit options, force update, and then log in. And it will proceed to download a new package. Or the other thing you can do, and I recommend this because a lot of people had problems, you can type run, and then you can know, hit run, type percent app data, percent OK, and it will open up the folder. Or you can just go here and you can type percent app data percent. There are other ways to do it, but this is just the two ways I'll show you. And delete your entire .minecraft file. Because a lot of people are having problems with black screens and that. And so this way it completely eradicates any chance of a problem before you begin. So then all you have to do is log in again. Log in. And it will re-download the entire thing. So we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, so once our dot .minecraft is, um, our Minecraft jar is all new, brand new and ready to go, we want to start installing these mods. So we're going to go back into our app data. Back into app data. Going to go into dot .minecraft, then bin. And then we're going to open up minecraft.jar with WinRAR or 7zip if you have it. I prefer WinRAR. Just close this. And the very first thing you want to do is delete metainf. Nothing is going to work if you do not delete this. So installing these mods are all pretty straightforward. We'll start with audio mod. You just want to open it up. You want to select all three of these files. Click and drag. Hit OK. Done. And that's pretty much how all of these are. And just nice and straightforward. Mod loader. Select all the files. Click and drag. OK. Um, player API. Close this again. Click and drag. OK. Um, and then shock AHPI. Now with this one, you want to make sure you don't copy the folder. You want to go into bin, and then you want to copy these files inside. Click and drag. OK. And last but not least, most importantly probably, either. So what you want to do here as well, you only want to go, you want to go inside jar, and then you want to highlight all of these files, and there's a lot of these files, so make sure you get all of them. Click and drag. Wait for it to be done. Hit OK. And now we're going to keep this open for a sec. You can close your Minecraft.jar. You don't need that anymore. And here we're going to go back to our .minecraft. And this time we're going to open up resources. And in resources, we're going to go back to our other zip. You can hit this little gold arrow or you can just reopen it. We're going to open resources and we're going to copy this mod folder into our Minecraft resources folder. And there you have it, guys. Your Minecraft A the mod is now installed and good to go and they've made a lot of updates the easiest way to tell if you installed correctly is you'll get this beautiful little screen and you have a what you can just toggle that on and off here um, now a lot of people ask me about installing single player commands you can do that what you have to do is install make sure you got a fresh minecraft and everything install single player commands as normal and then install a patch which i will put a link to in the down um, description below run that patch and then follow this tutorial and install the Aether as normal. Um, well that's about it guys, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you please give it a like rating and leave a comment. Um, if, if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe, I've got my Let's Play running, it's been running for a lot longer now so until next time guys I'll see you all later.